Big bed right there in the front on that rock. Yeah, I see. I see what you're talking about. A drop shot would be the deal. Cross tail shot. Yeah. Little sparky big spark shot, dude. I'm sorry to do this to you guys, but I know it's not fair. I know it's not fair. But I gotta do it. The carnival games were supposed to be fun. That was the perfect <laughs> one. Oh yeah. Get around, Alex. The old faithful. Why did they lose in my direction? Yeah, okay. What is old faithful? I got spinners. Spinners. I got spinners. So when you use that technique, Scott, yeah. it's good to actually uh, just barely grab the line and like half power or guide it than actually like grab it. Because gotcha. when they surge like that and you got a firm grip on the line, you can't react fast enough there like that. Oh, there she goes. Like that and break off my <coughs> sure screw head. Well, that's cool because now you can use that to teach people. worth that two pound fish. <laughs> it's like a three. Looks like that garbage you have on your reel. Oh here, let me land it for you. Garbage. This is good stuff. <laughs> No, yeah, Scott, not, Scott's got it, man. <laughs> Scott's got it. No, no, let me get it. I got it. Oh, here, you need to learn. I got it. I need to redeem myself. Okay, redemption time. Let's go. Let's go. Take the rod. Don't break the rod. There is. There is. A, hey, next time you do that, why don't you turn off the trolling motor? Good. Okay, now grab the line. No, don't grab the line. Start yanking. Not yet. Don't Yank don't hard. Don't grab the line. There you go. And I didn't drop it that time. You got it? I got it. For real? I got it. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Not a bad one. Square. 
square. <laughs> I hand the jacket off to you. So. Yep, yep. Thank goodness for editing. I break off the screw head. It's a good fish. Pretty one. I didn't get my redemption. They're square. You always uh, clean up sloppy thirds? Yeah. That's from the back deck? That's what I'm good at. I'm behind these two clowns. <laughs> What? 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 Man, I can't say anything around you guys. I'm just going to keep quiet and keep catching fish. It's all good. Is that the deepest insight you have for us? What? Keep quiet and don't catch fish. Or just keep catching fish? Yeah. That's good life advice for most kids. What is your deal? <laughs> Slop and slash today. Oh, perch bite. Oh, yeah. oh, rock bass! Yeah! That's what we came here for. Yep. Nope. So. Uh, where's the jacket? This bad boy here is a northern staple. The rock bass. For sure on the menu. For many of these big bass and muskies. Highly coveted by trophy anglers. Highly coveted. Highly coveted by trophy anglers. Elusive. Is that your PB rock bass? No. Elusive 16. I've got some pretty impressive rock bass, believe it or not. Okay. Uh, you've caught a 16 incher? Is are you flexing on me right now, Kobe Color? Fantastic hair. God, Kobe. Sniper. Here, let me help you. You're kidding. You're kidding. Well, you got line in the way. I mean, I'm just going to knock it off, Donnie. Oh, okay. Well, then back off. <laughs> I want to land this one. It's a, it's a picture fish. All right, can you guys move to the front? Cause this is a pain in the ass. See that? Look how a crawfish cut's coming out. And look at, look at, look at. Mm -hmm. she's a tube. She got something else in her mouth. Something weird. Wow, that's a brown, reddish one. What was all that white stringy stuff? Is that her guts? Is that a plastic? What is that? It's a tapeworm. That's what it is, it's a tapeworm. You guys ever seen those? What does it taste like? They're not good. Get the rest of it out of here. She's got a bunch of it in her. That's a long tapeworm. It like basically like, it's like a parasite and it like steals the nutrients from the fish. You fry it up like calamari. Yeah, that's awesome. Lots of it in there. She's been, she's been doing all right for dealing with it. Why don't you uh, help him with the rod, Scotty? Oh, thank you. Is this something you see often? Uh, no. No, not at all. I've never seen this before. This is only like my second or third fish I've ever seen with it in it. Wow. He's really dealing with it heavy. That might be the last of it though. Well, we probably didn't get all of it, but we got most of it. That'll help her. I'm going to weigh that one. That's a pretty one. Got some antibiotic to put to give it? What, what did you say? <laughs> antibiotic. Oh, antibiotic. Uh, Please release me, maybe. Or some uh, G juice. Sorry, Alan. That's a nice pile. Thank you. Is that one like 05? Maybe. I get, I get caught. Not after you pulled all that stuff out of it, though. <laughs> 491.
What's up, man? How was that? That's awesome. Pretty stoked. It's a beautiful fish. Gets me going every time. I just, <laughs> I just don't get over it every time. I'm gonna write a mean comment. What? Yeah, you're gonna write a mean comment because I've never caught, I haven't caught that many big fish. So I, don't, I don't get. I get loser. Excited, too excited over fives. But. Hey, loser! Why don't you pick up that pile of linguini and crayfish <laughs> off the sea deck? Yeah. Yeah. Show that up to the cam here. Oh. Yeah, we do actually. Look at it moving. How gross is that? How gross is that? That's tapeworm. You guys ever wonder what tapeworm looks like? That's what a well-established tapeworm looks like. Wow. That's three feet big. That's gross. That's amazing. That's disgusting. I'm not letting that go in the lake. You're not? No, I'm going to put it in a plastic bag and burn it. How much about you? Just kidding. He'll wrap my intestines. I had five on it for How sure. Do you ever sleep? <laughs> yeah, they, they like they like hook to the inside of your intestines or your stomach, and then they like suck all the nutrients out of you, or not the nutrients. They absorb everything that you eat, basically. So then you get sick and frail. That's gross. Look at it go. That's gross. It's like absorbs right back up. That's nasty. Was your uh, biology lesson for the day, kids? Hashtag too much science. Yeah, hashtag too much information. Look at it, man. It's I can't so stop gross. filming it. It's crazy. <laughs> hey, remind me not to shake your hand. Like, ever. Nice to meet you. Come on, Scott. Come on, Scott. Give me some. Where'd you find this guy, dude? <laughs> Michigan. Diamond dozen there. <laughs> yeah, makes sense. New Bass Dynasty scent? Tapeworm. Actually, you, you found him. I know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Doesn't mean you have to claim him. I can dispose of them properly. I'm gonna catch that musk. You or the tapeworms? Both. How do you do, how, okay, here's a legitimate question. How do you properly dispose of tapeworms? Get rid of it so it can't get back in the water again. Now you realize that thing is probably fully infested with them, right? Oh well, yeah. 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 I just, the less, the better like the less HIV viruses floating around your system, the better. Yeah, but my dad told me a story one time, okay? And I like your dad, so I'm gonna let you finish yeah. the story. Yeah, you wanna hear the story, okay. I don't remember all the details of the story, but the river was, there's a big river, okay, in the city far, far away, and it was like flooding a bunch of people's houses downstream, okay, causing all this havoc, hurting people, blah, blah, blah. So this one kid one day starts picking up rocks, taking them down the river, throwing them in. Everybody laughs at him. Why, what, what do you think you're going to do? The river's just going to swallow it up. It's not going to make any impact. So, kid keeps doing it, keeps doing it. Soon he gets his buddy to come help him. Okay, then there's two people. Two people throwing rocks in. Three people throwing rocks in. Okay, all it took is one person. And now you got all these people helping up. And before you know it, they were able to divert the flow of the river and save the people downstream. Maybe, maybe it's not even really a true story, but... The lesson is, it only takes one person to actually make an impact. So never think you're too small, even if Oliver rips on you for it. Okay, there's my story time. I got chills. Thanks, Mr. Pellerito. <laughs> That's your son. You should be very proud. You've done a good job. The world appreciates it. Almost as much as that smallmouth. <laughs> Less seven tapeworms. Cut! Give me a clap. We talked about our dreams, you gotta start off with something. Her mama went to college, but yet her father was hustling. Uh, found it funny, cause now they daughter is stuck in a similar predicament. I'm asking where her nigga went. She said, your guess is good as mine. Dropped out of school, now he run the streets like all the time. Right on top. Low fall, blast off, kinda gets 
and cast off. Doing this here for years, get my pass on. Stream mask on, putting in work. Snap back, got me focused. Never set a woman a shirt. I missed one and hit one. Man, that's getting some. Two, three, four, five more. Come on, that's ripping up. The way the bass miss sticking. The way my feet.